What's up? It's your boy UAG here back in the building. And in this week's episode, we're going to be doing a review of the NFL Blitz legend from RK One Up. Yeah, they did a thing, and RK One Up sent me this review unit knowing that I'm a super fan of sports, especially the NFL. So we're going to put this machine through its courses and see whether or not it's a banger or if it's a dud. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's hop right in. We're gonna be talking about the artwork and cabinet built. And right now we're looking at the side panel here. And this is the part where I think that they could have did a little better with. Um, they went with this grainy artwork. It's, you know, an art style. They wanted to go retro look and I understand their reasoning behind it. They wanted it to look like the NFL films. Remember when we used to watch those? It looked very much similar to this gritty look. I wish they would have went with the high res picture like they showed when they did the reveal of this. It looked so good like that, but they decided to go with this route and that's okay. It's not for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not mine. Again, look at the NFL symbol. I wish they would have went clean just like that. But again, art is very subjective, so some people's gonna love it, some people's gonna hate it. So shall we move on? Let's get into the most important part, I think, of the cabinet, is the build. And with the build, they hit it out the park with this one. They put that MK Midway cabinet style that they've been going with for the fighters and the legacy cabinets. It is nice and clean. I love the way it feels, the build of it. The one thing, that really is getting me pissed off is that we're in 2022 and we still got freaking fucking risers. Why? I do not know. You showed us that you can go away from it. You gave us a cabinet without the risers and the XLs. Give us this, give us that, miniaturize it. I think we can make it work. It would be awesome. Now, the best part of the cabinet, I think, is this freaking control panel. The control panel is awesome they brought us the control panel that was inspired from the 1999 arcade it looks good it looks great this is the first time we've been getting a four-player cabinet with the slant in it it's not crazy like the big blue is just right it sits a little higher than an nba jam and i think that's a welcome feature i i'm i'm loving it i'm i am truly loving it now the front of this Riser has that NFL Blitz logo, looks nice and clean. We got the foam doors that, you know, we've seen on the Simpsons cabinet. That's nothing new, but it, it looks so good. But with good must come bad, and this marquee stood no chance. It's a little bit frustrating because RK1UP has knocked it out the park as of lately on the MK30, the Ryu edition, and the Yoga Flame those marquees are spot on and we go two steps forward and one step back and and this one is not the worst but it's definitely nowhere near the best i really think that rk one up needs to step their game under quality control make sure that these are you know the best possible at 5.99 we don't have to spend extra money going to a third party to get these fixed up so overall, in terms of art and build style, I'm going to give it a banger, but I'm watching Arcade 1 Up. And next up is sound, and this has been controversial for a little bit. But you hear that intro? Doesn't sound like it's not gonna be controversial anymore. This has the same speakers that they had prior. It's just, they just implemented it really good. I don't have any issues with any distortion while playing. It just sounds really good. I'm all the way up to 15, but I lower it down to about 10 and it's really good. While you're playing the game, it goes up to 255, but around 113, 112 is a sweet spot. So with that being said, I'm going to have to give audio a banger. Yeah, we're going to go with a banger on this one. Now on to the next part. And this is probably where most people marvel and also is very surprised that RK1 Up did not skimp 
out on is the hardware. This is the first time they're ever using 49-way joysticks. They're using it digitized. It feels great. It really is smooth, precise. The buttons, they're still shitty, but they are what they are. Now that monitor, create a PoE monitor, no problems at any angles when, when playing this game is just, you know, to the max. Now, the thing that's going to change the game for this is what else they can do. I know with the technology that they're using, it is giving a digital gate. And that digital gate can be controlled. You can make it a four-way, an eight-way, a diagonal. This means that no longer will we have the issues of, you know, four-way game, four games and eight-way games on there. Or, you know, what can we pair with a diagonal game? This causes us to have endless limitations. So kudos to RK1UP on the hardware of this bad boy. Yeah, we're gonna give it a thumbs up, a way up. This is a banger, baby. Keep it coming, Arcade1UP. Now, finally to the fun part, we come to gameplay. And this, I have to say, plays so well. It's very smooth. One of the things that I was afraid of was it being in HD. Sometimes you think that that's just gonna be an upscale and it's gonna look not so great, but this looks awesome. It looks modernized. It looks like it should be on a next gen console. I'm not saying that it's the, the greatest graphics of all time, but it just looks really good. I'm playing it on the Dreamcast or Flycast or on main. It just a vast improvement. This thing looks like stellar. So kudos on that. Now the gameplay plays pretty smooth. And one of the things that I say when I'm, when I'm playing this, I was like, okay, will the late hits change the game? Will it not make it fun for me anymore? And that's far from the case. It's, it's playing football. I enjoy watching football, playing football. So this is that. There are different little nuances, like being on first first to 30 instead of the first to 10, um, you know, turnover on downs. I, I mean, it's it's just really, it's a fun game. I'm, I'm excited. I played it with one of my um, cousins and my brother-in-law, and it was fun to play against somebody. It's fun to play against the PC. The PC is fucking stingy. It likes to beat you. You don't. You think you're gonna win, and then it just comes down to it. That rubbernecking thing is crazy on Blitz. I think it's worse than NBA Jam, to be quite honest with you. It's hard to get that win, but it's hella fun. And because of that, I see a huge replay value on this that's going to change the game. Now, we're currently playing original blitz now in the original blitz and in the blitz 99 i have experienced some slowdowns during the turnovers more more frequently with the fumbles instead of interception but as you can see right here with the interception there was no slowdown it was the the slow camera turn that's normal but for some reason quite recently it, it hasn't been doing that the but what's odd is that we haven't had an update but I have made RK1UP aware of these issues and they said they are well aware of it and that that should be resolved with a update that they plan on having midway through October when they do update for online. So I'm excited for that. Again, that's, you know, that's for RK1UP to implement. If they implement that, I don't see an issue. But again, I, I didn't see it. And especially when I'm playing Blitz 2000, there hasn't been any issue. It's been relatively very smooth. I'm, I'm super stoked. The gameplay is awesome. I don't feel like I'm missing anything when it comes to this game not having late hits. The fun factor is still there. You still, it's very competitive. People, you know, it's a joy. And I think we get hung up on that. But again, to each their own. There's going to be some people that that's going to be a hard pass. I believe if you're a fan of the sport, this is up your alley. You're going to love it. The last point I want to talk about in gameplay is the speed factor. This is playing at a faster speed because it's 60 frames per second where 
when you were playing in the arcade, it was variable around 47 to 50. Um, this is a constant 60 frames per second, so it does play faster. However, I don't notice a big difference when I'm playing like the Dreamcast version of this. Now, the good thing about this, it's both on offense and defense. You get relatively used to it fast. Now, you do have the option to slow it down in the menu, but to be honest with you, who wants to do that? You want to go fast so you can hit that quarterback for a sack, baby. That's what we're all about. So in terms of gameplay, this is getting a double banger. This is a triple platinum banger. It's a home run. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the online gameplay. That is not on here at this point in time. It launched prematurely whatever you want to call it however as of right now there is no online gameplay it gives you a message here that uh, lobbies aren't currently open but you go ahead and practice and make sure you're up to par so when it happens you're good to go rk one up has made an official statement that they will be releasing online the mid-October, so that's right around the corner, so fingers crossed. Arcade one up, the ball is in your court. This is going to be a big selling factor for a lot of people. You want to be able to play online and have replay ability. There's going to be some that's fine without it, and there's going to be some that's not. I really want it. I, I want to be able to play against people like OTG, you know, people in the mats. I want to be able to do like tournaments and stuff like that. So online is a strong factor. So as of right now, this is, you know, an incomplete review. I will be doing a follow up when online is up and running. Be excited for that one because that's going to be a special one. Now to check those last set of buttons, we're talking about the pros and cons and whether or not you should make that purchase or not. The pros got HD. You got 60 frames per second. It runs butter smooth. The cons, that marquee, mm -mm. that artwork on the side is subjective. For a lot of people, it may not be their cup of tea, right? So, and then the obvious one is the late hits. If late hits are gonna make and break it for you, this is not the game for you. But if you like sports and you like being competitive and you, you know, just love that competitive factor, this is the game. You're going to enjoy it. It doesn't take away from its enjoyment at all. Another pro is that audio is banging, is banging. And the technology, those joysticks, first of all, they're the best joysticks that RK1UP has ever put on there. And you're getting four of them. So you're really getting your value in terms of that. Hopefully they use that technology for other games because I'll be excited to see what is next for that. It's going to be cool. Robotron, Sinistar, you never know what could be next. So with that being said, guys, for me, I would recommend this cabinet with the caveat of this. Knowing that online is not on right now, if you are afraid that it's a possibility that it's not going to come, then you may not or you may want to hold out. But I, I'm telling you, regardless, it's super fun. And if late hits, if late hits is not your, if you need the late hits, if that's all you've been dreaming about, do it. But I'll tell you this. If you got a friend who has this cabinet, go to their house and play it and tell me if you you don't change your mind. You'll be like, you know what? I'm getting this thing. I had a friend come over, a subscriber of mine. You know who you are. And he played it and he was like, damn, this thing is bad. And if he said that, I can imagine how many people who are on the fence and say, you know what? Let's give it a chance. So, hey, I'll give you a link down below. You can purchase it at Arcade1Up. And it came nice and clean. So you know that when you're getting your package from them, it's going to be good. So, guys, with that being said, I'll see you next time when we do the online feature with a special guest. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and joining the channel and watching this review. Well, you ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. Why don't you hit one of those links, watch another video of mine's, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Peace out. Cut. I said cut. <laughs>